Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My today's video is going to uh, look at the ways in which uh, the students' work can be checked and uh, sent them back. Uh, uh, due to this um, COVID-19 situation, uh, the teaching learning process uh, has come under a lot of scrutiny as well as debate. Um, teaching via online methods, uh, one is, of course, every teacher is doing it. Uh, sometimes it becomes quite a hectic thing to check the student's work, uh, whatever, even if it's a test or it's some assignment or if it is some quiz or any activity that is given. Of course, uh, without checking or without uh, sending their work back to them, uh, students do not get serious. Uh, they think that uh, it is just a, a waste that they are doing. But when uh, the work is checked and uh, the feedback is properly given to students, then uh, it is the meaningful uh, teaching learning process. So in this uh, very uh, um, basic video, I'm going to tell you, uh, what can be those ways in which we can check students' work? Because students sometimes check, uh, send you the work in uh, photos, uh, sometimes through email uh, or through WhatsApp, they send you the uh, uh, Word file or sometimes uh, they send you the PDF uh, uh, file. Uh, so in all these formats, uh, we have to check their work. And these formats um, are uh, generally the common formats in which the work is sent to us, either in JPG format or in a Word format or in PDF format. So I will discuss all these three uh, to, just to give you an example. So first I will give you the example of the uh, Word format. So I have taken out one example each. If you can see here, for example, if this is the student who has sent me, the BS student who has sent me this work, it was an essay which uh, was uh, which had to be written by that student. And if I have to mark that essay, what will I do? Uh, there are now two ways of doing it. One way is that if I check it directly over here in the in the word format, uh, a bit um, it can be a bit challenging because here you have to add the uh, comment section or what you can even do is that you can uh, have this uh, red color or any color from here and you can write down uh, whatever you want to think uh, about it for example if she has not written a very good mind map it's just an idea i'm giving you so you can over here you can add uh, in brackets um, mind map needs more relevant points uh, or in some such way you can key, you can add uh, points over here this way mm, and if something you think uh, she has an issue so you can over here highlight it with any color if it's a and there you can mention um, uh, or you can uh, somewhere write again in red check the sentence structure see so this way you can uh, give them an idea already you can discuss with them that uh, i'm going to write uh, in in red uh, the remarks and uh, the yellow highlighter is going to be for the mistakes. Another way of checking this uh, document is that you can add the comment over here in anywhere. If you feel that there is some problem in the document, uh, what you can do is that, for example, if I feel that um, there is some issue in, of course, uh, some kind of punctuation or spacing issue, so I'm going to do what? That I'm going to uh, go to the top left side where there is this uh, tab of insert now if i go to insert and here there is written comment so i'm going to insert a comment now this comment is probably i want to insert it over uh, here mm. here not here wait not here just wanted to wait so it has to be for example here 
and there I will insert a comment. See, now you have to click over here the place where the comment has to be inserted and there a box is going to open and there you can write give space after full stop. Okay, now you have done it. Then uh, you are now going to give somewhere here this and again you say comment and here you can say it is good. So comment can all uh, it, it, it can be positive and negative both. Ne not negative but uh, you can highlight the problems but also you can uh, give the appreciation through the comments or through the red color or so. And now you can write over here the marks of the girl either again in the comment section or you can write it in the red color for example you can say over here um, again if I just try to uh, put the comment over here here and I say very well done and whatever feedback I want to give, uh, I can write the whole uh, feedback over here, either in the comment section. Comment section actually uh, gives you the idea that you then you don't have to write so much uh, on that sheet which is uh, in front of you. Uh, when the girl is going to look at those, um, uh, this, this type of uh, uh, icon over there, this kind of bubble, speech bubble over there, then uh, you click on that and then uh, she's going to, or, or the student is going to get the idea that uh, the comments have been given over here. So if I give um, 8 out of 10 for example to this girl and then I okay now here now this is the checking for example complete. Now one way of doing it this and then you are going to uh, cross it and it will ask you to save of course you have to save if you if you don't save then that original copy is going to be saved see so if you uh, are going to save it then uh, it is going to be done so i'm not saving because through this i'm going to tell you another uh, thing if you just cancel it now the same document after having checked it this way you can change it into pdf so that stu the student uh, is not able to uh, change uh, your um, comments or change your marks because PDF document uh, is comparatively safer in the sense that it keeps the originality whereas the word document can be uh, amended by the student or by the other person and sometimes you see um, the lines are also going to be um, they will they will change the layout the format will change when another um, uh, version of Microsoft um, uh, word is going to be opened so okay now if you have checked it now what you can do is that you go to file in which with me it is written export export and I'm going to create a PDF or XPS so I'm creating PDF of the same now I'm going to create the PDF and here uh, for I am not saving it uh, in the same folder let me for the sake of um, example I will save it over here and here I'm going to uh, write the student's uh, role number, then student's name, and then how you name the document. I just want to discuss this with you. Uh, you have to uh, take the um, role number of the student, then underscore. You may write the name of the girl, you may not write the name of the girl. It's okay if role number is sufficient for you to. And then uh, you have to write over here, it is essay 01 then underscore underscore is for every uh, new uh, category and here you are going to put the date for example today's date is 21st then then hyphen then 06 then hyphen then 2020 now this document is saved with all the information and but in the form of pdf now i'll publish it and then i can show it to you now this is how it has been saved. See, I can even take you uh, to this uh, desktop where it has been saved. This is it. It will look like this. 
and already see the naming has been done and when you open it you will find out whatever you had checked it will be as it is saved see this these comments can you just see the comments and the colors so it saves the document see this this will appear exactly in this way in this way right now this is one of the ways of doing uh, the uh, checking and then when you return it to your student either through whatsapp uh, um, to, when you uh, connect your whatsapp with your laptop then you can um, directly from laptop you can send your document from this folder to whatsapp uh, to that girl or in the group of the class okay so this is one way of saving it now um, i'm now going to tell you the second thing the second thing is that if your student sends you the work in uh, or already pdf format now what to do with it now one of the works is in front of me now this was the work the student had sent me in already in pdf i did not uh, change it into pdf so what you get this is unchecked work so if i have to check it now i will do what see now this is the work of the girl she had to write the cover letter application for the post of lecturer right so if i have to check this what will i do i'm going to now if you can see that um, there this is adobe acrobat uh, in which i have opened the work of the girl uh, i have also um, taught my students how to name the document as over here the girl has named the document as well as uh, they all, now most of them know how to convert their P, uh, their um, images into pdf or their word document into pdf pdf uh, saves the um, uh, space also because uh, uh, so many pages then they become just one document like word format from word format it is better because here whatever you write it is originally whatever you have written it is saved and the student opens an instant look at whatever you have written as in the previous document i had told you that how your uh, comments are saved how whatever the colors that uh, you give over there so there uh, i feel that uh, there is more liberty uh, here i am not very well versed but still i can manage the things if you can see over here uh, there is this pencil see now uh, if i take this pencil and i have to check something here one way is that you directly check it if there is for example you are you want to point out something you will write over here um, leave a line i'm just for the sake of writing is going to be a bit of course suffer over here students know this they don't expect you to be calligrapher you don't have to show your calligraphy skills it's just like whatever you write it should be understood leave a line for example if i'm writing leave a line and uh, then i i want to highlight that look this this thing even you can um, uh, add a sticky note over here but i will do it later on now you underline it and then you okay you may just do this do this do this you have to check it and here for example this girl's signature is missing so i may write it's up to me if i say that uh, where is the signature or i can put some signatures uh, sorry some symbols before that okay so this is one way of doing the same uh, document can be checked by adding just like in word document you can add comment section over here and in comment section you have this option of sticky note see now this sticky note is for example instead of writing this leave a line i am going to place it exactly where there is an issue see and here i am going to write leave a line see now i have written this now i get to another one again i will click this i will do this uh, good i can give not good i'm not giving good over here i can say that underline the title okay so exactly in the way in word format we had done it 
you can do in the same way and then you can give marks either uh, on the page visible or in the form of these speech uh, boxes or you can say these this is basically called sticky note uh, it is written uh, you can take it from the top ribbon and then you can place it anywhere if there is an issue when the girl is going to receive uh, this document okay i will tell you how she is going to receive okay now you you can uh, see it that um, here if i'm going to write down another sticky note i am going to place and this is here and if i'm going to write uh, now you have to provide the corrective feedback also corrective feedback means that whatever issues are there in uh, that um, students uh, work you have to uh, mention them over here uh, uh, just simply writing that good very good uh, or keep it up or brilliant or this or that you can mention that uh, there is uh, a problem of um, grammar or language or um, format or um, uh, the, the vocabulary issue is there or tenses are issues whatever uh, in language point of view i'm just telling you but you can do it from your own subject point of view whatever the missing links are you can all place them over here one by one all sorts of you can write a full i usually say chitti over here uh, and then you can mention marks of the girl if the marks are to be given if you don't have to give the marks and simply you have to uh, mention um, uh, that uh, it's like simply the checking of the task uh, then you can even add your remarks over here so when the girl is going now i'm going to just shut it and then we will see that it will ask me to save or not i will save yes now it is already in the word form pdf format that's why it has got saved uh, at the original place now if i'm going to open this i'll try to open it mm. i try to open this and uh, here uh, i hope i get it from uh, where i had uh, kept it i think this was here and uh, it was i think her work hmm and Marishikpa. Let me see if she receives this, what she is going to get out of it. See this? She is going to see whatever. So the notes are going to. Now she is going to see. Oh, okay. I have not underlined it. Okay, fine. So she is going to click, and it is going to give you the uh, arrow in a way, or lead you the way that okay, this is what your teacher has written. So this is how she is going to receive it, right? so it means that uh, we, this is uh, how you can check uh, the students work in pdf already which is in pdf in which i have given you two ways one is that you have to write directly on that page with the pencil and the other one is to add sticky note to the side where you can type here you cannot type with pencil of course you have to uh, draw it on uh, draw those uh, Uh, letters of alphabet but um, in case uh, you can't do that then go to sticky note uh, option and do and then it's checked so now we are over with two kinds of checking i mean two kinds of formats one is the how to check in the word format in which we checked it either by writing directly with the use of different colors or uh, adding comment section then another way of checking the uh, the word format was to con after having checked it converting it into pdf now this is the second way already in pdf how to check it and send i have also told you uh, how to rename the document after checking see now the third thing and the last thing which i will tell you it will be i have to delete this because uh, so this is the i have you seen renamed this document 18 8013 checked job application plus job advertisement whatever i have given it's easier to locate the document when one has given the names okay now the third thing is that if uh, i have to check uh the if if my students send me images from the register the images from the register how will i check it you might you might see over here that uh, the girl had sent me the images this way from the register i can show you see she had sent me this way then 2 3 4 5 
I tell now my students to give uh, page numbers and see page numbers to page number two and the title page as well title page which up to this point there is a this point there is a title page and title page always uh, when the students send it gives a good idea to the teacher that what work it is what date it is uh, what is the name of the course title uh, whether it's a quiz or it's because teacher takes the main, uh, two three classes so it becomes at times difficult to keep a record of that so uh, the girl uh, has given me the page numbers because I had asked her to kindly write the numbers also so that I should not miss uh, the sequence of pages okay now she had sent it to me this way so this is the third way in which the images in the images uh, we have to check it so how we check it that see these are the images first I checked these and then I converted them into PDF document I will show you how how I had done that now I will recheck them and I will tell you how to so this is just one example I want to just give you so what you do is that you you can send them in the same way also then uh, you have to take these eight uh, images and one two three four so one two three four five six seven eight so it will take so much space in your cell phone or the way you are sending it but when you convert it into PDF then it will have just one document see this I have now renamed it 8021 underscore quiz 04 now it gives me a very good idea that this is the girl uh, whose role number is this and this is quiz number four and since I already have quiz number four saved with me so I exactly know what that quiz is okay so if the images are sent so so I'm going to open the image now it's already checked but I am uh, rechecking it just for making you understand so it's easier here you go into edit or create there you have to take this draw and this is the pencil you can choose any color if I choose uh, for the sake of checking uh, this I choose let's see this um, mm, green color because that will be visible then you have to choose the thickness of your uh, pen as well now this is very thick as this line can tell you now you have to reduce it's still uh, quite thick I usually keep, keep it at 2 so I do it and now I check it. Oh, of course this is not a very good color because already my favorite color I had chosen now you do this or if there is any mistake uh, you write over here I usually deduct the marks and I write minus but you can write over here um, spelling a bit of the drawing you have to do because it's not that easy to write it's just the skill you have to master if somebody knows better options than this of course we are going to welcome those options you can mention in the comment section what else we should have done okay so spelling or whatever that is and then you save it because this is edited one you have to save this and where would you save I will take it to the um, desktop just to give you an idea and here I'm going to mention uh, whatever number uh, for example I give it uh, number um, one over here just for the sake of uh, making you understand okay now it is saved okay now I get to the second one just for the sake of giving you um, an, an idea now I get to the same uh, procedure I go to draw and if you are checking it in sequence then automatically the color you have chosen will come uh, I mean I'm checking it in sequence in the same document then the next image will automatically it ha it will have the same settings that I had already done so the pen is already green it is already that thin which I require so I'm going to again check this check this or if I have to do some uh, uh, kind of uh, writing uh, a neon color I don't know whether it's visible to you or not but it's just to give you the idea so for example I have issue with the spelling of this one so I'm going to do this and minus 0.25 or whatever and I can uh, write feedback but it will take some time over here to write the feedback because you know you have to do it with the help of this cursor which is moving so here your skill of uh, being steady with this cursor is going to come uh, to your help okay now again I'm going to 
save it and it will automatically go to the same place where I have already opened it well now I'm going to shut this and I will take you to a, how will you send it to your student if you send it in this way even then it is fine but what I advise for the sake of neat task a skillful task let's change these um, images into a PDF format okay so I'm going to you, you see over here on my uh, this screen I have already kept the shortcut of Adobe Acrobat so I'm going to open this and here you see it is written file in file it will ask me to open to open I'm going to now go to the same uh, place where I had kept I have kept my these checked ones and they were on desktop see and I will see if they are there or not if I can find out I can't find them out probably okay okay oh I've not given any name to that wait I have to first name it uh, I will open this new and folder and then I'm going to put these two in the same and I can now I'll open it okay file in file open and here I have created this new folder huh so now this new folder I will open this oh god it doesn't have any wait 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 how can it be possible okay so from file we are going to go to create PDF um, all right so we are going to create PDF and it will be from file now this file is here and I can see that one and then I uh, press shift and take the second one also then I'm going to open this and now you can see it has already been created now I have to just minimize it and to tell you this time from two images it has been reduced to one complete document oh, this is just one actually I have done I will do it once again this is the first thing one can also be created into into PDF but I'm going I'm interested in creating uh, no I'm not uh, going to okay so you see this this is another one no I'm not going to do that I will again uh, uh, make a proper document for you now uh, that uh, that uh, um, image has been converted into PDF file uh, now we are going to create single file of those two images single file of those two images how would we do that again we will go to Adobe Acrobat go to file come to this combine combine for creating PDF this is the one but for combining I'm going to merge files into a single PDF where we have gone file in file we have gone to combine in combine we have gone uh, we have uh, uh, clicked on this option merge files into a single PDF file here on the top option is add files I'm going to add files it will take me to the location uh, it is desktop in desktop it's new folder in new folder two images I'm going to press shift to add files combine files see and now it will ask me to keep the name of it and I can uh, again uh, give it a roll number 80 21 underscore uh, quiz 04 underscore 20 hyphen 06 hyphen 2020 now the document will be saved over here and I have to now show you where is it 
now in the same folder the path that we had given see these are the two images which have been changed into one file now you open this minimize just to see how much friendly it is to your eyes and now you see the green colors now when the student is going to open it it will be all images will be at one place and it is not going to create any kind of fuss all right so let me sum up what we have done for today it was that i uh, had created um, uh, i had given you i have given you three ways of checking and returning the work of the student the one was how to uh, check it in word file second how to check it in pdf file and third is how to check it in images file in the images form and then how to convert all these into pdf so this is how uh, i have tried my best uh, to give you an idea please do let me do know in the comment section whether uh, it was something uh, of any help to you or not you can add your points also because we all are in the learning process and i hope that together we are going to create a good learning environment for each other thank you and i am going to see you in some next video